Three Catholic schools in one week closed because of the flu. Students are back in class this morning at Bishop Lynch High School, but one other Catholic school in East Dallas remains closed. CBS 11's Jennifer Lindgren is live at St. Thomas Aquinas with a look at how the administrators are handling a large number of absences. Jen. Russ, in two words, deep cleaning. Take a look around the parking lot here at St. Thomas Aquinas. It's pretty empty. That's because there is no class today. By the end of last week, 11% of students at this school and at Bishop Lynch High School were absent. Students at Bishop Lynch returned to school this morning. They had a four day weekend after a spike in flu cases last week touched a number of North Texas schools. Many St. Thomas Aquinas students have siblings that go to Bishop Lynch High School and Jesuit College Prep, so it's likely that the illness spread through families. The superintendent for Catholic schools in the Dallas Diocese says when at least 10% of students are out sick, it's time to call the health department. During those periods, we go through, we make sure we're following sanitation protocol. They're wiping down every desk. They're wiping down all the doorknobs. They're making sure that everybody is going to be healthy when they come back. And the break also gives people a chance to make sure the virus can run its course so that they're not bringing infected kids back to school. Well, when you think about what you can do to prevent the spread of flu germs, we often talk about what to do at home, like wipe down your countertops or change out your toothbrush. But health experts say you shouldn't forget your winter gear either. It's a hotbed for germs. Gloves, for example, need to be cleaned every four weeks. Your scarf, which is up by your face and your mouth if you're coughing, at least once a month. In your winter coat, even, they say try to wash that three times a season, especially wash it before you put it away at the end of those se at the season. So those germs don't carry over into next winter. Back here at Thomas Aquinas, they will be back in school tomorrow morning. School administrators tell us they are hopeful that with that break in school, the absences will be down. Live in East Dallas, Jennifer Lindgren, CBS 11 News. Thank you, Jen. And you can keep track of all the flu cases and school closures. And check out tips for staying safe on our website, cbsdfw.com. You'll find a comprehensive flu guide on the front page.